This video is called Adding Photos to Faces, and it goes with Chapter 7 of Google SketchUp for Dummies. Okay, this is going to be a pretty simple exercise, actually. It deals with adding photographs to faces in your SketchUp model. So what I've done is I've drawn a little rectangle here. I'm going to use the push-pull tool to just push this, or should we say pull that up into a face, something like this. So I've got this little face kind of sitting here. Uh, that might be a building, might be a package, some kind of a box, whatever it is. I want to stick a photo to it. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the face that I want to stick the photo to. That's the select tool. Just select that face and you can see that's nice kind of stippled blue to let you know it's selected. Next I'm going to go up to the file menu and choose import. When I do that it's going to open up my import dialog box and inside here I'm going to choose the image that I want to use. I've conveniently called it image for mapping right here. It's a JPEG. You can uh, use PNGs or JPEGs or I believe PDFs on the Mac. Um, you might be able to use GIFs. You probably can't use Photoshop files and I think you can use TIFFs. I hope that clears things up. Um, the thing that you want to make sure that you're doing when you're doing this is there's this little drop down. On the Mac it's kind of down here on the bottom of the dialog box. On Windows machines it's kind of over here on the right side. You have three choices. Use as image, use as texture, or use for photo match. And we're going to get to a couple of these other permutations in a while, but use as texture is what we want to do now. If you don't choose use as texture, this isn't going to work very well. So let's go use as texture. I've selected the image that I want. I'm going to say import. And what it's going to do is it's going to put that image, you can see it's the same building that I have in chapter 7 of the book, um, on the end of my cursor and it's going to ask me to place the lower left corner of this photo someplace. So I want to put it down here on this face, so I'm just going to click once to establish that corner, and then I'm going to click again someplace else on the building to establish another corner, just like this. Let's kind of come on this edge. I'll click right there. So now if I take the Select tool and deselect that, you'll see that I actually have that photograph, and it's mapped to the front of my little building or block or whatever this is here. If I take the push-pull tool and push this in, I can get rid of that repeat. You notice how this building is just repeating over there? If I push this in now, I can match the width of the photo so that that photograph is perfectly mapped to the face of this building right here. And that's really all there is to it. In the further videos, or in the videos that follow this video, um, I'll talk about how to take this building and stretch it using a feature called Texture Tweaker so that it fits on this face uh, and there's no perspective distortion like there is here. Chances are whenever you take a picture of a building uh, and you're standing in front of it, you're going to end up with this kind of distortion. It's going to look kind of like it gets smaller at the top and it's bigger at the bottom. And you can use Texture Tweaker to stretch that out, and that's what we cover in the next videos. I thought I would sneak one more little piece of something into this video, though, something that I don't cover in the book. I want to talk about mapping a photo to a cylinder. Uh, so let's try doing that. Um, first of all, I'm going to make a cylinder. I'm going to take a circle, and then I'm just going to come up here to the push-pull tool and pull this thing right up into there. And I've got this kind of little cylinder sitting there on my um, desktop. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go and get an image. First thing I'm going to do is actually just bring in an image so that you can see what we're trying to map here. This is the uh, little image that I kind of designed to go along with this. It's this kind of cheesy label that just says sugary beverage, and it's got these uh, fruits and stuff on it like that. So that's what we want to do. What we want to do is take this and we want to map it to all the way around the cylinder, almost like this is a can of soda or soft drink or something like that. The thing is, it's not a simple process to go from here to there. Um, there's, there's quite a few steps involved, and it's possible to do, but I'm going to show you a quicker way to do that. All right, so let's hit Backspace to get rid of that. I've got my cylinder right here. Let's go back up to the File menu, and then we're going to go to Import, and I'm going to choose that thing again, but I'm going to, once again, make sure that I have Use as Texture selected. Not Use as Image, not Use for Photo Match, Use as Texture. When I do that and hit Import, it's going to stick the image to the end of my cursor, just like it did before with the when I was mapping this to a rectangle. But then it's going to do something kind of unexpected. Watch. I'm going to place the bottom point down here, and then I'm going to place the top point up here on this surface. And you notice how it's not, the image isn't wrapping around the cylinder, which is kind of confusing for most people, but you have to kind of trust me here. I'm just going to click up here, and when I do that, something actually kind of disturbing happens. I end up with just one slice here. Uh, a photo, and, and that's where most people get confused and kind of get lost and begin to despair and stuff like that. Basically what's happening here, if I turn on Hidden Geometry from the View menu, you'll see that there's a number of actually rectangular faces that make up this cylinder, and what's happened is that photo has just mapped itself to one of those faces. 
let's turn off hidden geometry. I'm going to show you how to fix this. I'm going to go to the paint bucket tool, which is going to open my materials browser. I'm going to click on the little house icon, which is the in model library of materials. And you'll notice that I have a couple, I have these materials in my model for some reason, but I also have that photo of the building that I used earlier. And more importantly, I have this sugary beverage uh, material that I mapped on there. All I'm going to do is click on that to select it, and then I'm just going to click on the cylinder. And it's, it's actually as simple as that. So what I've done is I've gone up and I've selected that material that I had already mapped to the cylinder, taken it, and then I click again on that face. And for some reason, in SketchUp's Wee Brain, it actually works. And you'll see that what I've done here is I've just wrapped that texture around the cylinder. The trouble is the texture was too long for the size of the cylinder that I'd made. So you'd probably need to experiment a little bit, maybe um, change the size of the label or something that you're trying to wrap around the cylinder. Um, I'm not going to get into any of that right now, but that's the basic procedure for wrapping an image around a cylinder. All right, that's the end of adding photos to faces uh, for Chapter 7 for Google SketchUp for Dummies.